Creating an overlay with Lumia Stream is very easy and depending on your experience takes no more than 5 minutes. But then what? How do I place it correctly in OBS? Or rather as a HUD? Why do I have double sound? Chaotic questions, simple answers. But first we need to know the basics of OBS and how to set my resolution correctly. Of course, we are not going to do a complete OBS tutorial here, but as part of the Lumia Stream overlays, we will go into a few details for a change. So first of all, let's take a look at the canvas settings at OBS. In order for sources to be displayed correctly, these settings must be correct. Otherwise, you will run into the problem that some edge or corner does not do what you want. So let's go to settings in OBS and click on video. Here we see base resolution, output resolution and two values that we are not interested in here. Base resolution or the base canvas is your actual real screen. Here you set the resolution that your monitor that you are streaming actually has. In our case, I use a 1440 pixel monitor and have therefore set 2560 to 2440 pixel here. In output resolution, you set the resolution in which the stream should appear for your viewer. We are streaming at 1080 pixel, so we set it 2920 to 2080 pixel. For the other two settings, I recommend Langsos and 60 FPS. But this is something you really need to read up on for optimal results. That's about it at this point. Let's go back to Lumia Stream and Overlays. As you already know from numerous tutorials, you have to set the resolution when creating an overlay. Here again, you use the actual resolution of your streamed monitor. If you have made a mistake, you can correct it again by clicking on the name of your overlay in the top left hand corner. So, our overlay is ready. And now? Now let's throw it into OBS. We can either do this by hand and copy the link and then paste it, or we can let Lumia do the work and simply click on Open in OBS, select the OBS scene where the source should go and click on Add. Or we can do it directly in OBS. Click on the little chain in your overlay to copy the URL and go into your OBS. Under Sources press the little plus and add a browser source. A new window opens where you simply paste the previously copied overlay URL under URL. Now comes the tricky part. Even if you add the source via Lumia, you have to go to these settings again because here we set the resolution again. In our example set width to 2560 and height to 1440. Now go down a little and check refresh browser when scene becomes active. You will have to try this out a little as it can also be bad depending on the application. For example, if you have your own scene for the spin wheel, this will also be refreshed. To save resources, I always recommend checking shutdown source as well. Now the size of your overlay is set correctly in OBS and you can place and scale it as you wish. Now we would like to solve a problem that keeps cropping up in support. The question is usually, I hear my HUD twice, why is that and how do I get rid of it? Simple answer. The sound of the HUD comes from your desktop audio device. If you are also using a browser source at the same time, for example because you are playing with game capture, then the sound also comes from the source through your monitoring. Go back to the properties of your browser source and check Control Audio via OBS. A new scale with the name of your source will now appear in your audio mixer. Click on the loudspeaker and mute it. Problem solved. Your sound is still transmitted to the stream via the desktop sound. Do you have any questions or have I forgotten to mention something? Write it in the comments.
like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news and have a luminous day.